Hey, it's Sebastian for the Metal Gods Meltdown, and today I am joined by. Hi, I'm George Bradley, bassist of Leatherhead. And I'm Tony Smekas from Leatherhead, vocalist. Right, first up, I've got to congratulate you on your debut album, man. I mean, I came across it on YouTube. Um, I get sent, you. I get sent albums constantly every day, and just sometimes, <laughs> it's like, sometimes it's like look at YouTube, you know, okay. and especially that new wave of uh, metal. And you yeah. guys came up, and I was blown away totally. Um, Thanks, yeah. guys. Thanks. Been out a very short while. How's the responses been from media and fans so far? The response uh, of the new album has been uh, amazing. Um, I mean, uh, we knew what uh, we recorded and uh, the material uh, that if we believe a lot in the material that the material was good. But I mean, when you get the album out and uh, you listen to the fans' reaction. You read it uh, through the social media, YouTube, or whatever. I mean, it's amazing, and the fans have really embraced uh, the album, and uh, we're really grateful. And uh, I mean, it's always great to hear both the good and the bad critics. The bad, I put it in in quotes, you know. <laughs> uh, we want to hear all comments, and every comment is welcome, uh, as long as it's structured, you know. You've had a lot of uh, 10 out of 10 reviews, man, and that's fantastic. Like, Into the Wolf's... Where... Into the Wolf's... I don't talk, man. Into the Werewolf's Lair. Well, werewolf's Lair. Well, my favourite track, and it's what I keep returning to. Can you, though, tell me which is your favourite from the album today and why? Well, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, well uh, this one, the one you, you mentioned, is uh, the oldest song uh, written. Uh, it's from uh, my time in uh, Murder Angels, my former band. Uh, it's a bit uh, thrashy, but uh, it's one of my favorites too. I think that uh, all of us uh, have some favorite parts in every song. Yeah, yeah. Uh, some fast songs, some uh, uh, more uh, mid-tempo songs. Uh, I would say that uh, the title song is my favorite. Yeah. Because it can... Uh, uh, it tells you the whole story of the background, what the band is, uh, what we are trying to, what is that horror story and stuff. Brilliant. And you get a howl at the end of it, don't you? So, can't go wrong, man. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, the story, it's, uh, it has a lot of uh, what we watched, what we read, and, you know, we read about vampires, and you have the vampires kids, we read about werewolves, you have into the werewolves there, so it has a lot of the the creature mythology, if you will. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it has a lot of that. We had to have that howl in the beginning and then Charlie totally had to do it in the end. And yeah, I mean, it were, there were things that we wanted to put out there and that we want for uh, the listeners and the fans to be like, oh yeah, man, I want that howl, I want that scream, I want that and that, yeah, you know. We want to create something for you to remember when you look back at the album and each individual song, you know. Absolutely. So I'm guessing Leatherhead on the album cover, is that like your band logo now? You want to say yeah. about Leatherhead and the yeah. Native American? Well, uh, what Leatherhead is, if, uh, because I think you're British, <laughs> so uh, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a, a city with the name Leatherhead in there. There is, yeah. Uh, in, in England. Well, yeah. uh, uh, by showing that name, uh, from the team Leatherhead, I have the. I really liked it. I thought it was a very metal name, you know. <laughs> it's a very metal name. It yeah. has to do with leather, you know. So, uh, what we, uh, what uh, I had into my mind uh, when I was uh, cr creating the whole concept of the band was like uh, it's a semi, uh, semi fantastic, semi fictional, semi real uh, city of Leatherhead. Uh, it is. Uh, it's. Uh, it is in America. And uh, it had uh, some time uh, in the past. Uh, there was a big massacre there of uh, of uh, Indian people, indigenous uh, American people. So what happened there is uh, the massacre uh, uh, was over, and uh, everything was peaceful. But uh, after two hundred years, uh, the chief of the tribe is awakening. You know, he's rising uh, from the dead. You know, he's rising yeah. from the by a spell that uh, is broken. So, yeah, uh, he's coming to take revenge. But it's not only that, it's a bit allegory, you know, because 
our music is a music from the past. We are like zombies, music zombies. So yeah, it's something like that. So the yeah. fan can can tell which uh, who are the good and for the bad, you know, because you're talking about the zombie, but is he really bad? Right. It, it definitely is. Is music from the past, man. I mean, that's when I got into metal was thrash B metal and that in the eighties and that. And so yeah, it definitely is. And yeah, I had yeah. hair like you once many years ago. I haven't got any left now. But yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes. That is cool. Um, all right. So you released. Oh, I got my cat here. You released... Ah, yeah. You had seven cats. Seven. Have you? I, seven. I, I, oh. That's I amazing, man. Yeah. We're going to do a podcast about cats. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's, you released 200 final records. Are there hopes to maybe release more? Of course, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, uh, if you want to join to... Yeah, you know, uh, I joined the band when the, the band had already wrote and written, and sorry, a single, and it had it to be released. So I joined the band in the 2022 in May, I think. Mm -hmm. right. uh, I know the guys for over 15 years. I mean, we live in the same area and stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I came in, uh, I saw a band with a vision, and that's why I stayed. I mean, I knew the guys, but I, I came and I saw that they have, okay, uh, we're going to make a full like, this album, which we made, the one that came out last Friday. But um, it's a band that, and uh, a part of uh, a group of people that it wants to always be evolving. And um, we have started writing material. We don't know if it's going to be for the next album, if it's going to be for a single or for an extended play. But yeah. it's a band constantly evolving, and it has a lot of inspiration uh both riff wise and lyric wise and uh that's a thing that uh, i i saw and it's it pulled me into the band besides the concept besides the music besides the yeah. people it's i saw a, a project always evolving and always having stuff drawn into it and inspiration drawn into it so that's that's why one of the reasons that that's so, amazing yeah uh, it's it's uh we have more uh, more things coming up uh, like uh we already are working on the, the second album, and uh, there's there's a lot of uh, you know a lot of stuff going on. Uh, we have uh, many many songs because it's an idea of the band. Uh, it's about uh, from 2020, so it's about four years, five, and uh, it goes on uh, for the, all those years. So yeah, we have a lot of stuff, and I think that uh, the better stuff is not out yet. Really? Okay, that's that sounds promising. That's a warning. <laughs> that's promising, man. All right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like the reviews I've seen, they've, they've been stellar, like I've already said. So, have uh, like the big guys like Metal Hammer in Greece been in contact with you yet? Anything like that? Well, not not yet. Not yet. Uh, not yet. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, we have uh, we have uh, the big uh, the big magazine, which is uh, Metal Hammer, the only surviving. Uh, a metal magazine uh, imprinted for print. it yeah that's it it is printed right. yeah uh, now but uh, no no not yet we don't have a connection there uh, we don't we don't know if uh, something uh, like a review is coming in the next uh, in the next issue but uh, uh, since now all the reviews are coming from people that are uh, into that kind of music so they they saw the album they heard the album probably there for they the album yeah. and but what about plans for tour and festivals then? Have you got anything booked for the rest of the year and going into next year? Uh, not, not yet. Uh, we are trying now to, because uh, we, the album is ready about uh, one year now. Right. One year, one year from, from uh, last year's uh, September, if I... And right. a bit later on, I mean, with the mastering and the, the mastering was probably over by mid-November and the album cover was a bit later yeah. on, but the sound was... The, al the album is like uh, ready for about one year, so uh, uh, the last uh, six, seven months we didn't have that many shows. We, we were waiting for the album to come out, but mm -hmm. now we are ready for everything. We, we are open to everything, we of course. Can yeah. play everywhere uh, since we, we can, uh, they can, you know. And we're ready for everything. Now now it's the time for us to spread them our you know our stuff. Absolutely. And I mean you did like the release show, didn't you? At uh, well, 
called Coyote Rock Dive Bar. What was that like? Was yeah, that- I mean, that was more of a release party. Uh, I mean, uh, that's a dive bar. A dive bar, you know, is a small uh, yeah. bar. Uh, it's uh, a place where we hang out a lot. Um, and so, uh, actually, uh, the person who owes... Uh, who owns the bar also owns the recording studio that we did our album right so so we told them that we want to do a release party at the bar so you m- made the recording we would like to do it there so it was like a big uh, gathering of uh, friends and new acquaintances that came in and uh, we listened to the album and heavy metal at, uh, at the biggest part of the night and uh, yeah we want to thank a lot all of the people that came to the party we had a great time it was really a party and uh, we really enjoyed seeing uh, our old friends and making new ones and it was uh, great so that was a release party a really show um, we have we have played most of the songs live right uh, our latest live show which was in Tricala uh, with Sonia from Philadelphia uh, I cannot remember the date exactly, but, but it was a Thursday. I remember it was like uh, 10, 10, 10, October, October 10th. Yeah. But we played nine out of 10 songs of the album there. So yeah, you can, <laughs> you can say they have heard most of the songs of the album. All right. And so talking about touring and who'd be the ultimate band to go out on a tour with that are alive. Uh, I mean, like, first. First. if we can say any band. Yeah. I mean, like Iron Maiden or Megadeth, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a reality, you know. Yeah. Well, that, I would say Overkill because yeah. uh, Blink is, uh, is like a hero to me. He's like a uh, so you know, he's that that uh, evil guy on stage and that cool guy you can hang out as seen by me, you know, by my eyes. Uh, yeah. Overkill, I would say, it would be the best. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. and it's a feeling for us also. Over yeah, yeah. Uh, I believe like, it's very yeah, like. All right. So, like, Greece has, like, a real pedigree for metal and rock bands. Which band from Greece would, it, would you love to go out on tour with them? From Greece? Greece. Yeah. yeah. Say, now you go well, first. Many bands in Greece. We have many good bands. Uh, many good bands and many sound. friends. It's our sound, yeah. yeah. Uh, we have many good thrash bands. Uh, we were, I had the you know the the opportunity to share the stage with many bands uh, in the past uh, with other bands and with our band too. We have many bands in thrash metal, many bands in uh, the uh, Mediterranean black metal, yeah. many bands in uh, heavy metal, new bands, many new bands. I would say that uh, because if I would say one name, it would be like forgetting the other. You know, I would. Uh, I really love uh, people uh, in uh, in uh, the uh, northern part of Greece as uh, as a company, you know, because uh, we're into uh, we're more like them, you know. Here, yeah. uh, they're more uh, more uh, you know well, warm, warm and, and yeah. stuff. Yeah. So yeah. I would say if we go to tour uh, with a band, uh, I would prefer it to be from the north of the northern part of Greece because they're uh, you know more like us, you know. Right. Uh, they're out of the heart, guys, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but it could be from uh, the same region. It could be from Thessaly, like Rephobia, from yeah, Chicago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll share the same drummer with many bands. So yeah. Uh, our right. drummer is playing. So. He's playing in Rephobia, too. And he's probably, when she sees it, she, yeah. Yeah, she says, no double shifts anymore. <laughs> so. <laughs> cool. So, cool. All right. And so, with Halloween nearly around the corner, which member of the Undead would you be and why? Which member of the undead would you be and why? Would you be a zombie? Would you be a werewolf? Or would you be? Uh, all right. I, I believe he would be a necromancer, probably. Ah. He would be the leader. <laughs> <laughs> I, would be, I would be a shaman, you know, a dead, uh, dead magician, maybe, who is yeah. uh, casting the spells, you know. <laughs> and uh, I, you know, I think anyone has a very, very good part in, a, yeah. in the tribe, you know. We're like a tribe, you know. And uh, all the fans that we are going to have and going to, up, uh, you know, to get and tell the people who like us, I, we, we see them as, as the tribe, you know, we are right. like a tribe, a metal tribe, yeah. and, uh, a zombie metal tribe, you know, <laughs> oh, but we yeah. like yeah, the same thing. We're playing, not, we're not playing something like a, 
like uh, the, something new or something. We we play just uh, we just uh, uh, gather the all the influences, well. yes, yeah. all the influences from the American the metal. And, uh, it's like that, yeah. So Brilliant. everyone has its part in the in yeah. that thing, uh, from the fan to the singer, from the bassist to the guitarist, from the drummer to everyone. Yeah, that's, that's a good answer. So you're like a zombie apocalypse. I can't say it. Apocalypse. Zombie apocalypse. <laughs> apocalypse. Yeah. Cool. All right, yeah. man. Yeah. All right, so then, who do you think influenced the world of metal more than anyone else? Not many bands. So, uh, uh, heavy metal, uh, maybe Black Sabbath, we would say, because it has many, many different, uh, many different parts, many different ways to play heavy metal. Like uh, we have to have Iron Maiden, who are the, the band that more, uh, you know, uh, it's more uh, happy <laughs> happy version of metal but uh, you have from the other side black sabbath which is the more uh, the more black you know yeah. you have a motorhead which is yeah i mean like uh, black sabbath uh, created uh, like five or ten metal genres um, um but in the other hand i would also cite queen with uh, some more speedy songs mm -hmm. or like a sweet uh, free deep purple of course deep yeah. purple have a lot of fast songs i mean like fireball uh, it's a song i always like to play when i want to hear something fast but yeah. not so heavy uh, if it was one band i would say black sabbath for sure i can't say one band you know uh, there are lo lots of bands i mean it's it's to the day you wake up what day what you want to hear today i mean like you yeah. want to hear sabbath made and whatever but i mean if we start saying our favorite bands i mean <laughs> two days won't be enough to finish the yeah, catalog I'm, so. I'm the same man when people ask you you're like i don't know <laughs> so many <laughs> all, all of them <laughs> yeah exactly. All of them. exactly all right there's a band then what do you think has been your biggest accomplishment so far our biggest accomplishment, I mean, like, um, it's like small wins, you know, uh, it's from, uh, I mean, for me, a uh, great uh, accomplishment is to take a song and make it fitting to the band, you know, because I can have, uh, like, uh, inspiration for a riff or for uh, for some lyrics, which I believe, oh, this, this lyric would be very cool to be sung, you know, and to be heard live. And for me, a great accomplishment is to make a song fitting to the band and bring yeah. it to be complete and uh, to listen to it, uh, all five of us, and to go like, hey, this is a great song. But this never happens because everyone wants to pitch in something to the song, you know, and, th and that's great. Uh, you have five people who want to have their own um, signature in every song, and that's, that's great, you know. I would say the album itself, because we have, the only thing we have now is the album, yeah. for the work yeah. to see the art. So, yeah, the album is... Uh, is the, the best accomplishment uh, until now, but uh, the best are soon to come, you know, as a band. We, we will try to give our best, you know, and to see how the people who love the same music as us uh, feel the same, you know. Brilliant. Are the plans to release any more singles, videos, or anything like that off this album? Uh, we may do uh, uh, some EPs, but uh, we are not sure yet because uh, there will be maybe some covers and stuff in these uh, releases. We're not very sure because we are now working on the new stuff, and uh, that's what uh, cares uh, cares us uh, more than uh, you know having the small release. Uh, yeah. We prefer to, uh, doing the big release, you know, a very complete yeah. release. So that uh, the other guy who is listening to us have a, a statement of the band, you know, not uh, only one or two songs. And since the album is uh, at its full out and uh, the people can hear the new material, I mean, I can understand that some people want to see more video clips and stuff. Uh, but uh, we're more of the old school. So, um, I mean, yeah. And for me also, the album was made to be heard uh, track one from child, track 10 to one sitting. Yeah. I mean, first two or three times, you can single out the songs, but yeah. uh, I mean, for us, as Tolis said, most important is to make new material and get out new material or mm -hmm. play live because we're a live band. We're not a studio band. We make, we made this album to play it live, to play it for other people. And that's the biggest, uh, uh, the biggest pleasure for us, seeing people that bang their hands and scream to our songs, you know? Yeah, absolutely, man. So what can we expect from you live and all our hopes to get to England one day, maybe? 
Uh, we hope to come to the UK uh, one day. I mean, yeah, I, UK would be great. We have only been uh, traveling yeah. <laughs> to the UK, but we hope to, to play there one day. I mean, um, uh, I mean, uh, we like to bring a lot of uh, high energy uh, due, during live performances. Uh, it helps a lot that Tolly just sings and he doesn't play guitar or bass. That helps a lot. I mean, like uh, <laughs> all bands that have uh, the singer just be the singer. Yeah. It helps a lot with stage presence, you know. Yeah. And uh, for me, it's always, I mean, has a, a, a great presence as a uh, figure, you know. Uh, in the... All the band is great in the live show. Yeah. It's, like a, it's like having the five, uh, five uh, out of ten when you listen to the album and uh, you have the ten out of ten of the band when you, yeah. when you uh, see us live because uh, it's a live performance. Uh, what the... Uh, Concertos more. Yeah, yeah. It's like because uh, that uh, that uh, kind of music is uh, is live music. It's not a yeah. uh, genre that uh, just uh, puts you on your ears and uh, okay, it's it's good for that. But uh, if you don't go to the live shows, it's uh, yeah. losing uh, half half the half the pleasure. Yeah, exactly. absolutely. Can agree more. All right then. So as you don't have an instrument, do you stage dive into the crowd at all? Oh, excuse me. Do you, stage dive, do you stage dive into the crowd at all then? Uh, a stage dive, I mean, we didn't stage dive yet. I mean, <laughs> it helps <laughs> a lot. Not that, that many crowd, uh, you know. You, know. <laughs> from the, you don't have that many crowd on the, on the live show. Yeah, yeah, you know, we play with the crowd a lot. I mean, we all have uh, like wireless uh, receivers on our instruments. So, uh, I mean, like, yeah, we, we may go down to the crowd and shove a bit of I uh, have some elbows here and there so we can start up a pit or something, but just that, yeah. I mean, uh, I I have gone down a lot. I mean, like with places we have stairs, I like to jump or go yeah. down, but sometimes, you know, the, the rest of the band goes like, hey, come in here. I mean, like, just <laughs> sit with the <laughs> you know? In the new songs, though, be sure that uh, I will stay tired no matter what. <laughs> if we don't have a lot of people, I don't care. I will, you will <laughs> open up your stay, stay paralyzed, you know, but I don't care. <laughs> because it will be more and more violent. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. I asked that because I was watching like um, old MTV stuff earlier. I was watching Axel Rose when he stage dive in the day. He, he, <laughs> and he's you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like in Headbangers Ball, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Is he, yeah, yeah. You know, the, the, but if it's predetermined to do a clip and you have like, 300 people in front, it's like a cushion. Yeah, you're gonna dive. You know? yeah. <laughs> if, you're, if you're counting tickets by tickets to go on your first shows for people to come in, and there are like 10 in front of them, and like you, you gotta crack your neck, you know? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, then. So, the next question then if there was a made up crash song about yourself individually, what would it be called? Like a made if up. There was a made up? Made up song about made yourself, up. what would it be called? A made up song yeah. for us. I made up a song about the band? No, about uh, yourself, individually. 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 Well, Rattlehead, probably. There is already a song. <laughs> Rattlehead, because I keep banging my head all the time, you know? Right. Okay. Uh, for me, for me, it's very difficult. Well, well I never thought about it, you know? Uh, let's say Hammerhead for more. <laughs> so, uh, God has to do... Heads and heads, yeah, yeah, you know. know. Uh, <laughs> uh, we love heads, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Okay, so then, can you now give me four words to describe Leatherhead? Four words to describe each, each other. Four words. Yeah. Uh, two and two. Two each. Each. yeah. Okay, two and two. All right. Yeah. Uh, I would say like energy and aggression. You know. Uh, well, I would say uh, the one would be melody. Melody and the other one would be uh, because you said the energy and aggression. I would say uh, uh, I don't know the word. Uh, the word in uh, Greek is aletheia. So I would say refraff. Yeah, you know, like refraff. Refraff. You know. Okay. Yeah, that's it's, a cool. It's, it, it, it has to be dirty. It's uh, a yeah. good police, but it has to be dirty. Uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, very very uh, strong part of us. The music has to be. Melodic has to be good to play, but it has to be dirty, you know. Yeah. 
Brilliant. But again, no, I want to congratulate. Listen. Sorry. Again, I want to congratulate. Uh, you have, have to Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. All right. Again, I want to congratulate you on the album. It's fantastic, man. Um, do you have? Can you tell us then why we should buy and listen to your album? Um, should I go first? No, no, you. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, like, uh, if you wanna get something back from the '80s with. Uh, uh, the sound of 2024 and you want to hear something fast, something uh, from, uh, yeah, something from the 80s, from the metal of the 80s, the, the US power metal from the 80s, the, the speed metal, the heavy metal, the thrash metal. If you want to hear something energetic and aggressive, I mean, like, get it, get it and always listen it at max volume, never. Don't that's go lower nice. than that. I mean, it, it's meant to be played loud, and that's for me, you know. What you told is <laughs> what I would say. Absolutely. All right, man. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Do you have any final words for your fans, our viewers, and listeners? I mean, uh, we hope to catch uh, everyone that uh, listens to our song during a, a live performance uh, of us and uh, or uh, <laughs> during a live performance of another band. I mean, we want people to come up to us and greet us and say, I mean, like, we, I listened to the album. I like that. I didn't like that. So we want to be connected uh, with our fans. Social media today helps a lot being a lot closer to our fans, but we want to have the face-to-face -face communication. So, uh, yeah, we hope to meet a lot of people that heard uh, our music. And uh, personally, I would say that we aim to make even faster and better music, you know, and even more aggressive. And that's for me, you know. The best part is knowing the people who like the music, yeah. you know. Uh, for me, at least, uh, I think uh, for the guys are the same, you know, it's the same thing. It's the, the best part, taking the feedback, you know, from your uh, own music and uh, see what uh, reminds to do other people. <laughs> Taking fire!